Hi folks, Paul here. I have a new 3D printer. Um, my old printer that was just able to print these blocks here, that's the maximum size of the print bed from my old printer bot. Um, my old printer has died and now I've got a Creality CR10 Mini which will do 300 millimeters wide, which is what this is. This is actually 301 and I have to print it diagonally on the print bed. Um, it, my new printer will do 300 by 220 which I think is about 12 by 10 and it will do 300 high. So it's a huge step up from my old um, my old print bed size uh, and it's also a heated um, print bed which means that um, when I'm doing my prints they uh, stick to the bed really nicely. I don't get too much curling at the, um, at the ends. Uh, and it does quite a nice job. Uh, I'm very happy with it. Um, so I've been busy printing lots of these. Um, these are 14 cells long by 4 wide. So 56 cells in total. Uh, so with my old printer I was able to do 24 and that meant when I strung uh, 7 of those in series I would get a 1 kilowatt hour, sometimes 1.4 kilowatt hour pack which was a lovely thing. Um, and these have worked really nicely for me up till now, but um, now that I can do bigger, um, I'm going to try this monster, uh, which will mean that my whole pack, seven of these in series, boom, 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 will give me um, two and a half kilowatt hours, uh, maybe three, uh, so that will be quite nice. Looking forward to that. Um, what else? Oh, um, on these old ones, I have power connectors. I've got the voltage meter. It's hard to read that in the clear. And I've got this um, balance lead connector. Uh, so I plug each of those into a harness that then goes to a, a standard balance socket. What I have been thinking about though is these particular connectors are really clumsy to actually plug into. Um, I've started to dislike them and so for this new block I think what I'll do is switch to um, switch to these JST RCY uh, connectors and I've designed this nice little clip on thing so that um, I'll be able to plug my balance loom into that which will be nice and tidy. Quite happy with that. Um, the other thing that I've done with this design is I've got um, I'll have sockets actually this one I'll have the um, standard twisted mains cable, proper cable running through the center and I'll have sockets on either end so that when I've got seven of those in series I'll have, let me turn it this way, I'll have uh, cables running from positive down to negative, positive down to negative so that I can spread the current down each end of the group and that should work a bit better than if I just had power, co power coming off one end. Um, what else have I been up to? Uh, oh, the other thing that I printed that I recently designed thought I'd show you while I'm here. Um, my SJ cam that I use for time lapses 
got damaged in the 3,000 kilometre bike ride that I did earlier in the year. I also used it for time lapses um, on the bike. And in order to keep it running all that time, I would have a power bank plugged into the USB socket. And that was a lovely thing up until the day I crashed. And knocked that USB cable. And um, so now that is munted, stuffed, buggered. So in order to extract video from it, I have to pull out the micro SD card. And in order to charge the battery, I have to pull out the battery like so. Pull out the battery and put it into a battery charger, which I didn't have, so I made one. And um, this is a lovely little thing. Um, it plugs in to USB like this, and you can see through there the red LED means it's charging. There's the blue one, it's not charging. And inside it is just our old friend, the TP4056, board, two little pieces of nickel strapping, and uh, a little bit of hot glue. That's about it, basically. Uh, so it's a very simple design. This is some translucent printed with a 0.6 millimeter top layer, and that just sits on there, friction fit. And that's it. That's it. It's lovely and simple. I'm quite pleased with the way that turned out. Uh, so nice, so elegant. That is the perfect thing that you can do with a 3D printer. Simple and effective. Um, all right, I'll put the design files for this up on Thingiverse. So if you happen to be in the same predicament as me, you want to charge your SJCAM batteries, um, or if you want to charge a spare battery, uh, then you can download those and print it, and it's very easy to put together. That's enough from me. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.